Hey, welcome. Today let's consider Zechariah chapter 9 verses 14 and 15. Then the Lord will be seen over them and his arrow will go forth like lightning. The Lord God will blow the trumpet and go with whirlwinds from the south. The Lord of hosts will defend them. They shall devour and subdue with sling stones. They shall drink and roar as if with wine. They shall be filled with blood like basins, like the corners of the altar. So Zechariah tells us that when the people return, it'll be clear to everybody that the Lord is with them, that the Lord is over them. The surrounding nations will know and the Lord's people will know that his blessing has been upon them. If we look around our world today, it may not be quite so clear that God is with his people, that they're going on from strength to strength. It seems like the church is weak and, and failing so many times. But Zechariah has shown a movement that's very powerful. Now it also says the Lord will blow the trumpet. We won't have to start the fight. God will show us that, the, that the, the fight is on. He'll show us what the spiritual need is right now. Who will blow the trumpet? God will blow the trumpet. He'll tell us when the battle begins. He'll tell us what to do. He'll guide us and show us to engage. Like in the ancient times, his people will hear the trumpet sound. We'll know that it's time to engage and go forward. God defends his people, and it's onward to victory. You know, after 70 or so years of exile, which is as long as most people can probably remember, this must have really been overwhelming imagery that Zechariah shares. These pictures of battle and victory, pictures of prosperity, fullness. I mean, this, this is overwhelming imagery. How do you think Zechariah must have felt when he, he saw the imagery or God gave him these messages? He must have been just, just utterly overwhelmed and amazed because all his life, he had never seen anything like this. But this is what God says is coming. All our lives, by the way, we haven't seen anything quite like that. And yet, we know these are good days that are coming for God's church. So let's, let's realize what they were feeling. And it's not wrong for us to feel some of that awe and some of that amazement at what God says he will do for his people. They were the tail, but now they're going to be the head. I mean, it's a complete reversal, which, as you know, the Bible is so full of all these reversals. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. And it's just as true today in the 2020s, just as true. God is about to do mighty things. Are we, are we alert? Are we ready? Victory is certain if we're operating in God's order. He is going to finish what he began. He's just, he just wants us, he's kind of encouraging us to come along. But let's be honest, you know, God's people really have a kind of a checkered history. Sometimes, you know, we're all in, we're completely on the team, we're completely with him. Other times, God's people are just just indescribably indifferent. It's it just, it's bizarre, but humans, fallen humans, this is the way we are. We're very shiftable, very shifting, kind of shifty. So what can we do about that? Well, we can't change our nature, but what we can do is say, God, please help me to, to think this through. Help me to figure out what is my spiritual interest level? Can, can we increase it? Lord, please help me. We can ask him, please, please increase my spiritual interest level. Help me to be in the word more day by day helping to be in the spirit more by praying and, and communing with you and in god i believe will answer our those prayers if we seek it in earnest he will increase our interest he'll bring us up to right where we want to be i want that i want it every day may god bless you and i as we seek him as we seek his heart every day mm -hmm.